What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Show. Today we're looking at the Star Wars Black Siege Director figures. So this is a video that's taken us quite a while. So like first we have this Trapper Wolf from The Mandalorian. So of course the character played by Dave Filoni. So we have this awesome pack that I think was maybe a Comic-Con exclusive pack from last year. So we've had this for quite a while, but we've been waiting to get these director figures to do them together. So we've just been holding on to this. So there we have Dave Filoni and the pilot outfit and comes with some additional accessories and this awesome box that they usually do for con figures like exclusive figures but it's this awesome box design stuff, but we have the Dave Filoni figure there of Trapper Wolf, but this is the figure we were waiting so long on was the George Lucas version in the Stormtrooper disguise, because we ordered this, you know, probably back around the same time, so that's why we planned to do these together, but it took forever, and so we eventually had to cancel wherever we pre-ordered it and found it in a local toy store and bought it there so we could finally do this video, but there we have George Lucas, so it's just him in the Stormtrooper outfit, so just the Stormtrooper we've had before, but it's on a nice retro card back and everything, but of course we'll be opening it but looks pretty cool there and thing for the 50th anniversary and has a picture there of George with the stormtroopers and stuff so looks pretty cool so we have these two figures and of course now that we're doing this where there is also that John Favreau figure coming out that we do have ordered but we'll just do that some other time just since we finally got this George Lucas we wanted to go and just do these two figures so I'm excited to check them out so let me get them open and we'll take a look at them together. So we're going to start off with the George Lucas and the Stormtrooper disguise. So Stormtrooper body wise, it's just your standard Stormtrooper. Nothing too crazy about it. It's just him and a Stormtrooper body. But the only thing is that we got the head of George Lucas, which of course doesn't really look too much like him. Like if I saw that, I'd be like, oh, that's George Lucas. But otherwise, you probably wouldn't be able to tell because it doesn't really look too much like him. But of course, we have George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars. And I feel it's pretty fitting that they made him into a figure and put him on a Stormtrooper body, which would probably be about the best body you could put him on because it's just, you know, generic body sort of thing but looks pretty good overall I like said I think it sort of looks like him but it's not perfect with his gray hair with a nice sweep design there and his beard and everything and then just the face just pretty much looks like his face nothing too fantastic about it or anything but as I said he just got the, in the normal stormtrooper body so he's got the black body glove with the all white imperial armor on over the top of it so nothing too crazy about this figure it's just the stormtrooper just with George Lucas's head on it so we can do the movement so the head can twist all the way around and it can look down that far and up that far so not bad movements and he has the double neck pieces so it's the upper neck joint that can rock back and forth there and twist around and then also at the lower neck as well so it can twist around there and rock back and forth the shoulders can come up to 90 and of course has just a floating armor piece here and has the butterfly joint and rotation all the way around we get the single elbow joint that bends over 90 with some rotation in there and the wrist can twist around and flex up and down for this hand we have an ab crunch right under the chest section here so crunch back and forth and twist all the way around and the hips can come up to 90 with a little twisting out to the side to get the armor out of the way and can come out to the side that far some thigh twist up in there the single knee joint that bends back to 90 with the rotation and the foot flexes back and forth and twists side to side so again the newer stormtrooper body which still has limited movements like with the single elbow and knee joints but it still has pretty good range for a trooper so not really complaining too much about that but then he comes with some accessories so first we get the standard stormtrooper gun so just their little blaster that we can put into his hand so there he is with the gun and then he also comes with a stormtrooper helmet that we can slide onto his head so it just slides right on a little bit hard because of those overall head design but you can get it on so there with a little bit of forcing it does go all the way on so with that you can just have it as a standard stormtrooper you know nothing too special about it you can just now pose it up as a stormtrooper if you want or of course you can pop the helmet back off and have it as George Lucas so either way pretty cool but it's awesome like I said to get George Lucas in a black series figure and especially on this would be probably the best body of just the stormtrooper body but either way it's pretty awesome to get him and then we also get Trapper Wolf, which is a New Republic X-Wing pilot from the Mandalorian series, of course, played by director Dave Filoni, which is a big director on the Mandalorian series itself, as well as mostly known for the Clone Wars series. So it's really cool to get him. Of course, we saw him in some of the episodes of the Mandalorian as a pilot, you know, kind of like a police officer out patrolling the galaxy and comes across the Mandalorian a couple times. So it's pretty cool to get him there. Like I said, it doesn't really fit too well because he's got like the bigger face and he is a bigger guy. So he's just on this pilot Luke body. But just since he's got the bigger sort of like fat face design on the skinny body it doesn't work out too well but overall not a bad design so he has of course his hair with the brown design and then his beard that has a bunch of gray in it and overall I think the face design looks pretty well like that I think looks a lot like Dave Filoni but then as I said he's in like the pilot Luke outfit so nothing too crazy going on here with the orange jumpsuit has the vest on with the breathing apparatus and the white straps then he's got the black gloves and the black boots there both in the shiny leather and stuff so overall looks pretty good now one issue with him is how far apart his legs are so I can't get his legs in any closer they always spread out 
out like this. So he's always at a wide stance. And then he is pretty short. So especially when we bring in the George Lucas, you'll see just how short he is, which is crazy. I'll assume that's just the figure body itself, but it just makes him look really short, which is kind of weird. But for moments anyways, we'll go and do the head twist all the way around. And the neck is real stiff on this. And so you have to kind of just work it down so it can look all the way down that far. And then same, you can get to look up that far. It's just real stiff for some reason. Shoulders can come up to 90 and rotate all the way around. We get the single elbow joint that bends to 90 with the rotation and the wrist can twist around and flex up and down once again. We get the ab crunch and twist right under the vest piece. So crunch back and forth and twist very little side to side, pretty much no twist at all. The hips can come up close to 90 out to the side just a little bit. You know, straps are kind of in the way, but there's a thigh twist in there that can twist around a little stiff though. The double knee joint that bends up that far to the back. Shin twist up at the top of the boot and then the foot flexes back and forth and twist side to side. So this figure just feels really old, like the actual body design feels really old. And so it's an old figure with a new head put on it. But either way, I think it works out pretty well because, you know, he is just the new Republic pilot. So he's going to have an outfit for pretty similar to Pilot Luke. So fits pretty well that they did this. And then we get some accessories for it as well. So first we get a helmet. So we have the helmet like he wears. So the Trapper Wolf so has like sort of that wolf head design, but a nice green color with the gold as well. And of course the new Republic logos on there. So we have this, we can slide onto his head. So there it is with the helmet. It's not impossible to get on. The biggest issue is just trying to get this chin strap down under his chin. It keeps like sticking in like his mouth area for some reason. And I have a lot of issues getting it down there around his chin, but there's the helmet on, like I said, not impossible. And I always find this design silly because it just makes the head look so big. But I also find it really cool that you can actually take a helmet on and off and it doesn't look absolutely horrible. It just makes the head look bigger, but they do have this big bulky helmet to protect their head. So it is going to be bigger. So it always looks funny, but also cool at the same time to me. So there he is with the helmet on that kind of fills out his look. And then he also comes just with a gun. So this newer gun design they have. So pretty cool that we can put into his hands. So there's Trapper Wolf with the gun. So overall pretty cool. Like I said, not the greatest figure ever because it just seems like a reuse of an old pilot Luke body, like an old style design. So it has some issues with the actual body and then just the Dave Filoni head popped on it with the helmet and stuff thrown in. But either way, it's pretty cool to get Dave Filoni, like I said, just with the George Lucas. Awesome to get them, but not a necessary figure at all. But there we can have our two big Star Wars directors of George Lucas and Dave Filoni in the Star Wars series with George Lucas being on the Stormtrooper body and Dave Filoni being Trapper Wolf from the Mandalorian series on the pilot body. So pretty decent figures, like I said, not necessary figures for your collection, just if you want to have the Star Wars directors in your actual Black Series line, which is always cool to have them. So I can't really complain too much about these figures. Just like I said, not necessary at all. It's just if you want them, but both of them are pretty cool. And I do like the concept of getting the directors, but let me know what you thought of the figures down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. One well, thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.